Welcome back to the NCS. We are here at Hillside, race 13 of the season. Take a look at qualifying real quickly. And looking pretty good for 100 laps of green flag racing. This place do be very similar to like a mix of Dover and Bristol. It's a mile, high ass banks, and uh, it's gonna be fast as hell. As Vent Nation comes around to take the green, and there they go. Definitely see the bottom side working early here. That's gonna be the prevailing theme of the day, as always. But definitely gonna have to watch them coming off the turns here. They get three wide early. Coming off two and four is gonna be a bit dangerous for quite a bit of these drivers. Now I see the power of the bottom lane. Some of these guys who weren't qualified very well, making up great ground. The 24, rocking the bottom early. Now the 5 comes down. You see our pole sitter. He is already rocked up the outside. Toad's up front for now. See Jerry. He's on that third lane. That yellow card is going back. Oh, it's three wide. Yeah, a lot of three wide. Still three wide in some areas. Very much three wide. That one car stuck up high now. And now, Hyper riding behind Chippy. They're trying to push themselves clear of the higher lane so then five could attack the two. Or maybe he could just get help from the 24 to take the lead anyways. Now the five rocks up high and Exalt is going to take that. Yeah, Chippy knows a thing or two about leading the race. He's done quite a great job ever since the near the end of the first regular season. He's won four races since and the first championship. So credit where credit's due for the two. This event already back up front. Hyper having to work with uh, the 52. Oh, born ready. Just not suspecting him to be in the top 10, but here we are. Top three seem to be working on a pull away strategy. Chippy and Vent can work together real well. They're just using the 24 to help meet their ends. Kryptonite's pulled to fourth. We've seen some speed out of 32 in unexpected areas. Now as we go mid-pack, oh, we have a caution. So we will not go mid-pack. Or actually we will because a crash just happened. Alright, the first wreck of the day. How bad could it be? Uh, trouble for... Ace and it all started when Toad got the tip down low and then he hits Ace. And they both go sliding. Oh, it's more trouble for Racer Lucas and Italian. Oh, a lot of cars. Huh. This, this is all just playing a reaction to the, uh, to those two. 
the next guys to, as soon as we switch angles, looks like Lucas broke into a spin to take Italian and Racer. The 51 and the 7. The 8 of Shake and Bake going in way too deep. And then a few more cards. Mizzou hits the wall hard. Clipper in the wall hard. A lot of drivers hitting hard there. That will ultimately end a lot of nights. Just so many cars wrecked already. Whoa! So a lot of checking up as Lucas Crabb nearly didn't get back to the pits like he should have, but I think they're all good now. 11 laps in. I'd pit everyone pit now. Now that's a caution period. All right. Yeah, everyone's coming in, coming out. So we already had our first big wreck at lap 11. Can't say I'm shocked. It's going to be a long day here. Event Nation is going to be the first one off pit road. A little bit of hold up for, oh, Toad. Toad coming in, Hyper coming out. That's, uh, that shouldn't be too bad for the five, but 38's already a little banged up, so never know. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth off. Uh, 21 coming back down pit road. So is the uh, Arn. Arn coming back down as well. Arn and Jake coming back down. Interesting. We're not even live yet. Let's just. Boop. Somebody else came down pit road. Looks like a blue car. I think Kryptonite might have repitted though. Yeah, Crypt repitted. Italian bombs a lap down. Lucas is back on track. All right. So there's our volley of DNFers right there. Lucas and Italian are a lap down. You got. A lot of cars on the lead lap. Um, yeah, I didn't fast forward through any of this caution period. So if we're wondering why it's taking a while to get back to green flag racing, then oh well. But pace car is coming off this time. And I think Lucas might not be. Oh, there he is. Just in time to hold up. The inside lane. Green is back underway. Lap cars starting on the bottom. Really going to create. Because those lap cars, they do not get out of your way. And that's something that Vet Nation loves to say. I mean here. Vet Nation loves it. Lap cars in the damn way. The sooner you can get those slower cars to a second, third lane, the better it is for all parties involved is... Born Ready is going to be the one to try to run him down. Meanwhile, we got a few lead lap cars battling around lap traffic on the low side here. And it's it's like just a mess. I see Laddie on. Looking, he's gonna get bottom lane. There he goes, just running it behind the uh, 
But meanwhile, back with the 21, those other guys who may have double dutied on pit stops. Yeah, 21's not having uh, much patience sitting behind the double zero like this. He gets around him eventually. Other guys who, they're kind of like thinning out more. Might be because of just how less cars there are. I didn't expect Cade and Ladion to make a bonsai push to the lead, but here we are. Ladion and Cade. Up front. Yeah, if you can get a win, it helps your playoff chances significantly. But a second win can makes you a almost guaranteed the lock. Barring very crazy circumstances. That's kind of what this league is. Just crazy circumstances. I mean, look at the... If you look not too far behind, it's the 53 getting pushed into action. Good run for them so far. That's something you'd love to see. A good underdog story. 41 trying to return to victory lane. 41 has some pretty shit luck in season one, but ever since he got that win, I'd say the mantle of bad luck has been bestowed to Duke ever since. Short track that feels like a plate track. Huh. Yeah. That's how it be. Hyper is now the one having to hold off the mob. Oh, the 41. Not quite able to clear it down there. Uh, you don't want to cause a wreck about only one quarter of the way through the race. Now I see Jerry. He's cleared himself of both lanes too, so now he could have challenged the five right where he needs to. And Exalta is just so tired of seeing the 41. He's about to just wreck him. Like, Jesus. Jerry... Going for the lead. It's almost like Jerry's almost always at the lead. But he never seems to get good finishes. <laughs> oh my god. It's like Corey LaJoy. You see him always running good. But when you see how he finishes. It just puts a big sad on your face. Everyone going high. Well no. Lucas Cram the slow car is going to hold up somebody here. Whoa. High, low, middle. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Jerry gets the best jump there, and Hyper's going to have to deal with Lucas's slow ass. Going to have to try to shove him high going through three. Oh, no. That Jake, the other pitter, he's already back in the big pack as Lucas is fucking everything up. Oh, God. Let's go back to front. That's Exalta and Jer. KS was in third for a while, but now got new blood coming in. King. Karibo could possibly put himself back in victory lane. Where the fuck is Lucas? Alright, he finally got shuffled back out the fucking exhaust of that pack. And now Hyper's back in 17th. Well... Plenty of time left, I'd say. Right. Is that four wide? Oh, that can't be good. They were four wide there for a second. I thought Laundry Sauce and Vent were about to just have the apocalypse, but no. They're all making it through pretty fine. Meanwhile, back up in this group. Jerry cycled out for the lead. Now it's Exalta. King looking to make a front, put himself on the front line. Yeah, Duke trying so hard to get anything done. I think they last pitted around the early teens, so he should expect pitting around or by lap 40. Have a six. 
Looking to follow up his Verlander performance with a good finish here. Let's take a look at the next bit of a... Uh... Oh, Blasta and Toad. Those are the next two cars looking to go a lap down. They're trying to work with each other, but when you're just damaged like that, it just sucks. I see Duke on the low side. <laughs> Toad doesn't even have a hood on that car. God, this might be bad for all parties involved. Here they go. Oh, Toad gets pushed up high, but Blasta is going to leave that lane open, and Duke is going to just see his way past the uh, more lap traffic. CS Fastlane 11 challenging for the lead. Lucas Cram nearly lapaging the fucking field. Oh, oh, he made contact with somebody. They're four or five wide. How did they not crash? Excuse me? Nobody wrecked. Nobody wrecked. Jesus. These guys are good. And yeah, Bourne got a little bit of damage, but like, oh no. You know, CS stays out another lap. I think uh, Jake is second place there. And Kryptonite, the uh, third. As Kryptonite goes another lap. Now have a 32. What's going to suck is that when Kryptonite tries to get into pit road, you see a shit ton of cars on the bottom. He's going to have to find a hole to jump into. I think he found one. And... Here he goes. I think that's everybody. I think Duke was the leader before Green Flag pissed off. So let's see where he comes out. Yeah, Duke just getting it all fired up here. Here comes the six to help him. Kyle D. Well, it's going to be a Tayo here. Yeah, Arn and Blast on different laps. Yeah, the 7 just doesn't have the speed to keep up. We're a 3 well, vet sailing it off into 3 wide high side there. Now the 7 just, he ain't fast. Oh, oh, I see some smoke. Do I see a crash? Oh, I do see a crash indeed. They're stacking them up going into the turn. And that's definitely going to be a caution. Alright, what the hell happened? Let's start, let's start off at here. Uh, Ty? Ty? Ty just killed the 48 going into three. Um, then the second group comes in, Vent takes a shot, RS just at fucking rams into him, Cade and Chippy involved, I think Karibo got a small piece of it, oh god, Toad and Laddie, Jan looked to be done for the day, what the fuck, what the fuck, that's a caution, there is... There's your caution. And your leader is CS Fastlane 11 for I don't know what reason. Alright, let's just. Mm, we're pit stops. Yeah, we're pitting again on lap 43. Alright, cool. Now Kryptonite's the leader because he stayed out when everyone else came in. Oh, you got some guys going in again. Kyle D going in again. Born already going again. I don't know how Toad is still racing, but he's still fucking going. BS going in again. Jumbo going again. Kariba. I think those two might have damage. What the fuck? I 
See Jake going in, but it's the one to go. Oh, I see a few guys pitting again and the one, the one to go. Jake coming in again. Karibo making a third stop as well as Jumbo. They got to hurry up because they are eventually going to see. Um, they're eventually not going to be on the lead lap no more. Uh, Karibo and Jumbo are a lap down. Chippy's two down and still going. Duke, RS, Ladion, Cade, Vent, and Cha all died. We're basically just decimating the field. I mean, we did have a successful round of green flag pit stops, and then Tayo decided to go commit sicko mode. So that's a thing that happens. All right, we're back to green flag racing. Who the fuck's going to win? We're not even halfway through. Jesus. Wait, where's Jake? Uh, Jake, he's still running with the big dogs. Jumbo and Karibo are both a lap down trying to keep up. The expectation is the lap cars on the bottom are just killing the field. Ethan on the lead lap, but he can't just go because lap traffic. Kryptonite and CS Fastlane 11 seem to be the uh, two that break away. Battle for third here. King and Exalta trying whatever they can do on the high side. Their pusher is KS, so yeah. Good luck. We're just doomed to just not having any meaningful passes for position. Look at fucking Laundry Sauce. He's on the bottom making up positions inside the top 10, top 5 now. As we see, a pass for the lead, CS, getting it done around Kryptonite. Is he king in third? He's looking, but... And the next guy for position is fucking Eddie and Laundry Sauce. All these meme-tastic drivers inside the top 10. Oh, Hyper having a decent time. King looking to waste no time at all getting the lead there. Wait, who's this lap car? Oh, that's Kariva. Oh, God, he's running three seconds off. He's, he's like four seconds off the pace. Oh, no. Uh, do we have any minimum speed rules? Game? No. Karibo nearly killed King. Karibo in the fucking way? Okay. Oh my god. This lead group here is what I'm going to be focusing on more, though. Yeah, Kryptonite trying to keep up with the, with the halves. Larson... Not, yeah, don't Larson line this track. It's too much banking. You can actually make up great ground on the bottom side. So we have a like an eight-car train breakaway, and then ninth is a little mini battle here. You know, someone who's going to absolutely shatter a career best finish record is BS Fastlane 11. Currently running 16th and on the lead lap, believe it or not. Jesus Christ, he's turned up this season. He has kind of been mired outside the top 30 for most of his starts, but he's absolutely turning it up. Yeah, the fast lane's in a caution and on the front stretch. Oh, front stretch pileup. This could change everything what the fuck I take my eyes off you fuckers for one second and death happens who was it oh it was uh, chippy his lap car just hooks king and then there goes CS and there goes there goes fucking everybody except hyper <laughs> literally Hyper and Ethan are the only two that made it through that shit show. 
Here come more trouble. Oh, but we were just talking the double zero. Doing a great job not getting damaged. She has a little bit of it now. Jake upside down. <laughs> Fucking, did Karibo really just... Oh my god, they're still stuck on the bottom side. No, Ty! Stop! <laughs> it's over! You can't race anymore! <laughs> stop! Oh my god, Ty is not quitting. Yeah, Chippy is out of this race. Oh my god, who the fuck's even in this thing anymore? Well. Ethan's your leader now. Lap 58. Then Arn. Then Hyper. Racer. Steve. KS. Plenty of drivers still... Getting repairs done on the pits. And then they got the lap cars pitting, so... Yay! Alright, let's just re-fucking... Alright, so there was only 20... How many running cars are there? There's only 20 actually running cars. 13 on the lead lap. Maybe 12. That depends on where King falls into this equation. King will be on the lead lap, so... Yeah, unfortunately, the double zero kind of got a little miffed on that crash. He's two down. But he's still running in 15th, which is it's great. For a car of such weak proportions. Alright. Lap 61. Here we go. Lead lap cars. Try to work together to get around them. Or you can just let Ethan win again. Who knows. Alright. Ethan and Arn. Fly off into one. With reckless abandon. Oh yeah, those lap cars are actually really fucking slow now because they have to deal with the double zero. That gives a volley of lead lap cars chances to pass, as they do. But now it's all about catching up to the leader. I think Hyper's probably the best one to do so. Arn, Ethan, and Hyper just all kind of vibing right now. I wouldn't mind seeing an Arn victory here. You know, top three just rolling off because you got KS in fourth. I don't think he's got the power to keep up with the big boys. Nothing really much to say. Oh, the little second group there are kind of forming a pack. CS in eighth and Born Ready in ninth, looking like he's got damage to hell. And a lot of drivers have been completely damaged to shit. Toad Warriors found a new running mate, the uh the double zero and the eighteen there, all really slow. I mean the eighteen kind of for position with BS fast and eleven, but they're just too damaged up to do anything. Hyper out front. Hyper's been doing a really good job just not crashing. And I think that's paying off for him now since he's got the best car on track right now. Like, the only other car I can think of is that one racer. His, he's got a little muffed on his car. Jerry's out of the race, so... Like, who's going to beat the five? I mean, Arn and Ethan could try to team up, but I don't see that happening. I mean, I guess pit stops can thwart the five, but that would be a rather 
rather unpopular way to win. And to be fair, Hyper and Racer did throw down pretty hard at um, Dover earlier, and they had a fun time. Despite the fact they had both made a pit stop there, they still threw down on track for position, and it was it was all fun, all fun. All right, lap cars. There goes Italian, and Ethan's gonna take the L on that one. So it's just Hyper and Arn. Next up, uh, Toad and BS. Those two are gonna yield, but Arn's gonna have it a little bit easier here. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is kind of like a plate track. You can look low for position, but it's easier if you have help doing it. And his help is currently stuck behind lap traffic. Next car. I oh, don't know. I don't think there is a next car. It just oh, there is a next car actually. Kryptonite. Wait, Crip was he? I think he might have been in that one crash. Yeah, whoa. Arn takes it low. Hyper takes it high, but they're both getting it done. But now the five has to run Arn back down. Now we see a big freight of lap cars coming into the equation here. Um, Actually, King is on the lead lap and 12th, but volley of lap cars to pass before him. Plasta, Lucas going their fourth lap down. Jumbo going a second down. Laundry going a third down. And King trying to fight on the lead lap, but he just can't. As all these lap cars just submit to the high side whenever it's convenient for them. All right, King. He's down. Born ready in 11th. He's running just anemically, and Hype are going to use him as a pick to get around Arn. All right. Now there were 10 lead lap cars. Just 10. Huh. Well, I would say their pit window's open now, so if you come down take four fresh good years and a Licking, finger looking good can of fuel, then you should be fine to make it to the end. Just hyper and orange, just vibing around this place. Let's go on board with the 14. Yeah, you can see how high banks this track is. The next car they gotta pass is Italian Bomb again. Arn getting a run. Lap car gonna be in the way of Hyper though. That oh, that's gonna give Arn a decent lead here. Now Arn controls his own fate. Hyper in second. Ethan still third. Steve and KS kind of battling for a top five position here. Racer and Eddie, 6th and 7th. CS, 8th, 9th, 10th here as CS, Kyle D, and Exalta all kind of racing for a top 10 position. Late in the going. As now, Toad and BS get put another lap down as Hyper is caught up to Arn. He's looking underneath. Hyper's just got the raw power to go around him. Arn actually has to think about how to pass here. And the five takes it back. These two just all over each other. We're looking. Oh, the 14. Trying to set him up. Oh, we got some pitters now. Arn pitting. That's interesting here as the five stays out this lap. Now the 
five kind of I'd say come in this time you're not gonna pass six and he does Exalta's in look at Steve he's the next car on track he's coming in that was six coming in this time Arn coming back out. This could be the 14's race to win. Here it comes. Flying out the pits. I don't see a five car anywhere, but who knows? He just got to weave his way through all his lap cars. Go high, go low. All right, I think I found his. Think he found his target. A little ways ahead, but Hyper having to deal with lots of lap traffic here. Every car he passes, Arn has to deal with too. But now the gap is smalling. to one second look out uh, almost like the trailing car has some sort of minor advantage when it comes to this type of stuff say watch out you got a clear track for now that's just letting the 14 ease his way in. Guess who's there? Now, 11 to go. Now it is. Now time is running thin here Arn looking to the bottom he is gonna stay strong with the five for now not sure what difference Arn pitting one lap sooner makes but that might be the be all end all difference that the 14 needs oh slow car slow car Hyper just staying in line, being patient here. Don't want to do anything stupid now. Oh, now Arn jumping high to pass. This is an interesting dilemma here. Is now Arn jumps to the bottom behind the double zero. And now he's gonna now he's gonna shift to block Hyper. But Hyper fits in low. Look at this. Oh, Lucas trying to make a pass on laundry. While the leaders are... They're not even on the same lap. The leaders are there. But blue flags. Anybody want some blue flags on this race? Ah, Hyper's just going to take it now. Now that Arn is stuck behind Lucas, though. But there he goes. Hyperdrive 282. Arn having a nice little run, trying to get back to the five. He passes Toad high, and Arn not quite able to get there. Whoa, contact is made, which is gonna, definitely going to slow Arn down. That may have been the big break that the five needs. Five to go. And Hyper, that may have been the race-winning move for the five car. Just, uh fortunate circumstance for Arn just trying to keep up at this point I have a few different lap cars here all of them are on different laps so let the fast guy go but it's not that easy 
Piper. Don't want to go too fast around. I don't want to run into anybody, but don't want to go too slow around the lap traffic. Oh, Bourne looking for a pass, but Piper says, no thank you, sir. Getting down to the end here. Lap cars all over this bitch. Yeah, Arn's got to get through that as well. Two to go. Now the next. Yeah, that, that volley on the lead lap there. I think, yeah, that group actually made up some time, but there's not enough, t enough of it left. White flag is in the air for our five car. Nothing but open race track ahead of them. And now, coming through three and four, Piper Drive 282. He won it this track last season, and he'll win it this season. Two times at Hillside. Yeah, just seeing this the lack of lead lap cars. Oh lord. This race got violent quick. Didn't let up. And yep, that's just all it is. That's what it's gonna be. A Hyperdrive 282 victory until next time on the NCS.